Hey friend, welcome back to another video. <laughs> um, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing, how, what am I doing? I'm gonna be giving you a little tip on how to improve your watercolor, loose watercolor leaves. So if you missed it, we have a part one through three all four. on, what? We, we did a, four parts? Yeah. We have a part one through four on how to paint leaves. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's pretty good, we'll link it. We'll make sure to link it. However, so many people struggle with leaves. Painting leaves is a huge challenge because it's a compound stroke. You're going from a wide stroke with a lot of pressure to a thin stroke with little to no pressure without lifting your brush. And so many, especially beginners, really overthink it. And so in this mini do don't tutorial, I'm gonna give you some pointers on what to do versus what not to do with painting leaves. All right, so a lot of what I see in my workshops and people sending me photos or whatever of people trying to paint their leaves and really struggling with it um, again, if you haven't watched the leaf tutorial video where I show you how to do this, this might not make sense to so go watch it. But a lot of people, when they start their compound stroke, they get into the pressure part and then they just think that the work is done and just lift their paintbrush off. And that creates a really blunt leaf when the tip of the leaf can get really thin. So if you really drag that out, it can get really thin. Another thing that some people do is they'll flick and rush through it and not meet the tip of their leaf. Or they'll just aggressively start painting their leaf and you've got this kind of like butt cheek action happening at the bottom of your leaf. That was obviously exaggerated, but what you wanna think about when you're painting watercolor leaves is starting with a slanted hold. So I'm at like about 75 degrees away from my paper. And with little to no pressure, I'm painting the base of the leaf. And then right about here, I apply pressure and drag my brush in a straight line and then gradually release that pressure until it gets as thin as it possibly can while I'm still dragging the brush to the right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with pressure, gradual release, and meet that tip, okay? So we've got thin, little to no pressure, pressure, gradually release to tip. And whatever direction your brush is pointing, make sure that's the direction the leaf will be pointing. Because if my leaf, if I want it to point this way, but my brush is going this way, I'm just going to end up with a really chunky looking leaf. Which is a specific look and you might want that, but if you want the like clean edge look, then make sure your brush is pointing in line with the direction the leaf is pointing. Pressure, gradually release. Pressure, gradually release. All right, so your main takeaways with this tutorial, this mini tutorial was to slow it down. A lot of people, when they're starting out with leaves, just flick and rush right through the end of the leaf. And that makes for some crisscross tips. And it also make, means it's not a really clean edge. So take your time dragging your brush through pressure and release of pressure so you get that nice smooth leaf curve. But then also make sure you go watch the four part series on leaves because it is so helpful. So many people have been loving those tutorials. So make sure you go check it out and it takes muscle memory. So you don't wanna get too frustrated with these compound strokes when you're painting your leaves because it takes muscle memory and, pra and practice. If you're just starting out or you've never painted leaves like this before, be gracious, go easy on yourself. It is challenging. And if you have time on your hands, you can scroll really far back on my Instagram, like seven years ago back and see some really crappy leaves. And that could probably be really encouraging to you. So I do encourage you to do that if you have time on your hands. 
All right, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below. What I wanna know, what is your biggest struggle with leaves? Is it water control? Do you get those little puddles at the ends of your leaves? What's your biggest struggle when it comes to leaves? And we'll make sure to cover it in a future video. I'll see you in the next video.